Hey guys, Volvo Mike here. I just wanted to do a quick video on the Volvo Cars app. I'm actually connected to a 2023 demo recharge XC40 and then also my personal Volvo on the same app so I can kind of show you how to switch between cars and some differences between the census vehicles and the Google cars. This is the home screen for the XC40. To remote start the vehicle, I'd hit the little fan on the left side and then I would tap the start button. It connects through cellular. Uh, now these cars also connect through Bluetooth if you're close enough to them for instant um, functionality, but obviously this car is a few miles away at the dealership, so it ran up through cellular. In this case, probably my Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi to cellular, cellular to the car, and now it shows that the vehicle is warming up. You can see kind of the, the red color on coming out of the fans. To turn it off, we'll hit the stop button. Something that was just added to iOS, I don't think it's on Android yet, is vehicle location. And we can tap this little um, filter button on the right side and turn that into satellite. We can turn the traffic on as well, but we can actually zoom in to this, the parking spot that the car is actually parked at. So kind of cool. Back to the home screen on the app. If um, we go back, we can also check. It says the charge status on the top, but if we click the little lightning bolt, you can schedule charging. This is something you can't do in the plug-in hybrids, only on the full electrics. Uh, we here in Omaha, Nebraska, don't have peak hours for electricity. Ours is the same kilowatt uh, charge per hour all times a day. So it's something we really don't get a lot of use at, but folks out in California and other markets where uh, they limit the uh, power or they charge extra in prime hours. You can actually plug the car in and it won't start charging until the time that you want it to. So kind of a cool feature there as well. To switch between cars, uh, for the Google cars, you have to go into the little settings person menu on the bottom right hand, scroll down to connected vehicles, and then switch to the other vehicle. So now my, my phone is communicating with my personal car that's sitting in my garage here. There's a couple of extra things on this. You've got a little bit more car status functionality. This is also the button on the top left where we would switch back to the XC40. A little bit different on the census cars. And then the driving journal. The driving journal is something that does not have functionality yet with the Google car. So for the Google cars, it's mainly more of a remote start app and just lock and unlock, which quite honestly, that's what most census car vehicles are going to be used with as well. But same kind of thing, if we wanted to hit remote start, my personal car is unlocked, so I can't start it. If I locked it, I'd be able to start it. Kind of a cool deal. Uh, also, with these, you can actually send a location to the census navigation. I think they probably left it out on the Google cars because of how easy it is to get a destination in. So that's kind of my only guess because it's not as important as the remote start. Also from your home screen, this is kind of a cool feature they carried over from the 3D Touch phones. If you press and hold on the Volvo app, you can go to shortcuts like start parking climate, uh, flashlights, unlock, and send destination. So that's kind of nice as well. You don't have to actually open the app all the way up. Hope you guys like my video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll help out.